I mean, my aunt and uncle, I was close with them too, you know. Four lighting candles. Have you ever been to that restaurant? Uh, I must have once. A Cinderella oh, Christmas or something like that. Could you by Oscar Wilde? <laughs> really putting me on the spot here. <laughs> yeah, Cinderella you Christmas. by anyone? Quotes are for nerds. Candace Carilla. <laughs> you going up against a bobblehead and, and, and well, you know. Obviously. Fake must never know anything. An idea for an ice sculpture for the reception. Would you sketch it for me? Oh, she's so caught in a lie. I, um... She's so caught in a lie. She faked okay. everything. She, you got me. She, yep, yep, yep. I was so but he don't want you. Ready for your ball that I delegated the filling of the stocking to Angie. So she chose these things. I'm sorry, but it really was me that you met at the ball. Why did you return the dress? I must have still been under the hazy smell of the ball because I don't even remember doing that. Thank you so much for I don't remember the ball. <laughs> I'm not being real with you. So I don't know how high I was at that night. But uh, no, nah, just stories, right? But anyway, I'm just saying. It's just stories in my head. The gro it's a grooming. It's a gr and there we go. There we go. There we go. Why don't you ever do, you know, quality ones with black people, yo? You've had a few, but not really. See, now again, this is the fake one. This is the fake this is the double ganger. Remember all the questions he asked? He knows she's a fake. He's just trying to let her prove herself. This dress really is much better from the front. Not to say that that's what the devil would do, but people, when they know what you're saying is not true and they're trying to give you a chance to at least come clean before uh, the real karma comes on the scene, they give you umpteen chances. And she failed them all. And he failed them all. And they failed them all. So there's no ball for them. No moho. Ho, ho, ho. But back to a Cinderella Christmas. You know what? Listen. Trigger words. M A R R Y. Nope. 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 The second you say that word, I'm off in Pisces land. I'm off in Val land. I even hear... Hmm? Hmm? I'm playing with the butterflies and the trees and the bees and, 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 and I'm out there on the seas all by myself. And you know I'm real good at that. I don't mind a little company. Really, I don't. I would love someone who can match me and my energy and could, you know, help, you know help inspire my creativity and I do the same. That's what it's supposed to be about. Y'all, y'all, y'all still can't figure that out. You're on some other shit. And that's why I said I'm not the program. Anyway. Ooh, what does this child look like? Uh and that's the other thing. She looks like the bobblehead bitch actually. And that's why I'm not really showing her right now. But I gotta make sure that's not even because you know they be they the grooming that they do. They'll try to uh give you to what does it matter what I think? To try to, they, like they'll you. try to convince you to uh, give yeah. I like you too. energy to them. But here's the thing. Tis the season. See, son? Oh yeah, she looks just like that. That's why, you know, this is not even about that story now. This is about me and the grooming. See, if you really see, then you know who I am and who I be. And I'm just saying, you need to tap down that ego or either way, you know, it's not even up to me anymore. It's, it's, it's up to something much greater than me. And you up here scared about the ooh, 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 people, <laughs> you know, with the letters we shall not name. I name them all the time. How is that? Everybody doesn't know everything. Remember, I'm 66 and look like I'm 16 in my mind. But let's see. I'm not half lying. Let's let the sun and the energy look at my face. No makeup. So I'm stating my case. Not bad. And what happens if I take the gray hair, out, you know, out the way? I actually want to get rid of the gray. Oh, 
I have a couple that I listen to. That don't mean I'm sleeping with them. That's what the ones who never knew me in college couldn't understand how I could be friends with like, you know, so many football players and so many men. And I was being a real friend. How at three o'clock in the morning when my mom's working and doing her job, I'm up here, you know, cooking sausage dogs. For I could see I could, I could see the store and she's at the gravesite looking at her mother and father too. So I I'm I, I see the story. But I also see the image that's in front of me. That you know, I know you want me to push out that image too. And I'm not because I'm I'm going to tell you black women are going to be supported in twenty twenty three. I don't give a damn if any of you men or you women do it. See, I'll do it myself. See, I have risen this far without any of you. I've got a very, very few friends. Emphasis on very, very few, and I make them money too. So I don't think they want to get rid of me because they know I am quality in everything I, I do, and I'm trustworthy. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. I don't turn on a friend unless that snake turns on me. And then I walk away until they come for me, seeing you keep getting up in my face while I do what snakes do, as the elders do back in the day. Our snakes ate them. If they didn't whack off their heads. I'm just saying, you know. There's such a thing as good snakes. You need the good snakes. All animals are needed for balance. You might not like sharks, but sharks are needed. Like white people, you might not like black people, but, you know, if it weren't for black people, there would absolutely be no you. And that is absolutely 100%. No matter how you smack it up, flip it down, rub it out, oh no, it's true. So the fact that you even look at all of us the way you do just because you created a nigga don't mean I'm that shit I'm that bitch the truth is going to be in your face I come to you with a smile and grace but you come to me with some dumb shit and I'm going to show you real quick I'm not kizzy that's it anyway Cinderella story the thing is no Cinderella whatever let's say Mary no don't say the word M-A-R-R-Y. I'm 66 years old. I would say, you know, the, the and people would think, like, well, why would even the thought, I know, why would even the thought of having babies cross my mind? I am, like, way past that time. One would think, well, I don't know what they gave me in that drink that I took or they shot into me in January 20th, 2020. See, my body's all altered. Now I'm like, you know, Jamie Summers, the black Jamie Summers, and I want my billion dollars, by the way. Calling for it, clocking. Call me and it will come. I want my I want my money now. So that being said though, I'm like, that's another reason why. Nope, sacred space. Cause I don't want to make a case of uh how did this miracle happen? At 66, she's having a kid. Oh hell no. I'll be the first to say all that shit in the Bible is not true. Some of it's metaphoric, but some of that, yo, I'm not testing it, honey. All I know is, you know, there is such a thing as dynamic, wonderful, universal, spiritual, alch al alchemy, alchemic magic. And the right thing, you know, you can have a baby at 100. I'm not trying to do that. I have gotten this far. I'm very good. I don't need to be doing diapers. I could. I don't want to. See the difference? Some of you need to I want to have a baby so I can I have somebody to love me. That's your problem. You should have loved yourself. Now you brought this baby into this world and this baby can't help because you are a grown ass motherfucking woman. And you're supposed to be taking care of that child. But what exactly are you doing? Do you know what you're, do you know what you're putting your, do you know what your child has to face? That's a disgrace when it's bitches like that to come up in you trying to tell you how you should do and what you should do. And I'm saying, look at you. I'm just saying, you know what? If I didn't know the stuff that you do, it'd be okay. But it's shameful and heartless. You don't either. You don't have a clue about God. You don't have a real relationship. You're a fraud. You know, that's right. I'm just saying, but you mad at me. And you want to end my life? See, that's when you know, I know. who's the hoe yeah. and the it's devil, because the devil will always us. look no, at the truth as the devil. He'll be here. We're not allowed to see each other. On our Reminding life. you, all the people who have told you because I was the devil. Into this, into you. I didn't believe it at first. That was the devil you were talking to. Becoming the man he was meant to be. And that yeah, bobblehead bitch kind of looks like that, but I'm sorry. 
So welcome to the I'm projecting shit. See, let's get back to where oh, I fit in this story. Change the uh, vision of of uh, change the vision. Where have you been? You've like never ever been late before. Change the vision of the flip. No, Candace. I'm sorry to ruin your wedding day, but this is not right. Oh. The ceremony set to start in 20 minutes. Oh. That's happening all over the world right now. The truth is coming out. Color not, color not specific. Gender either. She doesn't love me. Love what you can bring to her. Love the clout. Love your money. Myself. Yep, a real man would do that. But right now you're dealing with a lot of beta beta males and beta bitches up there. See, this game, it used to be back in the day that you really had uh, at least a couple of real men who, you know, were at play. And then next thing you know, I don't I don't know. But if you ever notice, I was listening to which I don't necessarily I'm not going to like co-sign on everything she does, but you know what? I got to give Deb at me some love. Because I know, and it, it, and even with, I know how some of y'all feel like you have been totally abused by Kathy Hughes. But Kathy was always good to me. Even Mary Catherine Sneed. Listen, I know the politics of the industry, okay? But, yo, at the end of the day, as hard as you might think these women were, some of these women really looked out for some women. I mean, they looked out for me. I mean, I've never met Dad, and so I wouldn't know. But the stuff that I've heard her on, uh, shout out to Math Hoffer, yo. I mean, I guess, you know, finally some brothers up there talking some real math. I appreciate that. But, uh, and you know what you did too. But I'm just saying, you can't, this, this, this whole, this whole old school thug gangster culture that, you know, all women got to submit and, 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 and we got to be that bitch. You have disrespected your mothers, your grandmothers, your great grandmothers. And now some of you don't give a shit. And that's why you ain't shit and ain't getting shit right now. You stupid. Stupid ass, cunt ass, but I'm sorry, mother. Uh, mm. That was my father coming through. See, that was some masculine energy for you. So excuse me, mother, may I channel daddy, please? Remember, I'm not a girl. I'm the man coming through you because that's what you say and see. Remember? Divine masculine, divine feminine, where the man can be him and him can be she and whatever else. Anyway, just see that this is my daddy coming to me. Listen, you stupid ass motherfucker. You turn around and you want to fuck over my daughter and you thought I was going to let you get away with that shit? Oh, no, motherfucker. Just like you fucked over me and just like you fucked over my wife. This time I'm coming for your life, okay? We came to you with what's right. We showed you what to do and then this is how you going to come through on this day? Oh, no. Daddy's in the house and he's got to say, hands off my daughter. I don't want None of you touching her. Don't come near her. And if you got a gift to give her, you put it in her goddamn cash app and you put it in her bank. Because most of you motherfuckers, you stank like the skunks you are. You know you lying. I'm talking to all the families and all the family tree. Do not fuck with me. That's my daddy coming through me. Remember, this is not she. This is not her. This is he. This is him. This is he. This is a he you said you wanted representing my daughter. And I am here to establish order. You say Wait till Jesus come. Well, Jesus on the run, son. And I'm saying you don't want to mess with her. Now, excuse me. I have work to do because it's my day. Whoop. And then the channeling is through. And that could be some bipolar action, right? Or some schizophrenic shit or whatever this is that I do. But how about since some of you say you're a prophet for the prophet. We know what you are. How about some of you say I got stuff for you, but you know you lying. Because I know what some of you got for me. You got tricks of the trade. All this time, it can come out of your own damn. That's biblical. But when you get it, you get it. And you know why you don't regret it? Because you don't come back. So this is the closest that some of you will ever see me. And it's okay because it was meant to be. And if we're meant to see each other in 2023, then you know what? It will be what it be. Because it's an alignment going on. But right now, I can't afford to deal with anybody else. Because if you are really about me, then you know what? Hey, you know what my cash app is? Give me the gift card. Send me the Starbucks cup. Show me some love. Give it up. But don't turn around and lie and want me to spend my gas to have to go somewhere where I've been spending the last 66 years trying to lift people up from out of here. 
that mindset, that plantation mindset. Now, I'm going to let you have it. The shot spotter, the leaders that you elected, you know, the, 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 the land and the money that you took, have all that shit. Why are you shook that I'm still here? That's what's got me looking at you another kind of way, my darling dears. And that includes you too, sir. And you know who you are. That's why I just is something about that state. I don't hate, but y'all make some different kind of motherfuckers where you come from. Y'all shady and fuck is fake. Fake as fuck. Same thing. Either way, Chuck, I'm not it. Anyway, that's all I had to say. It's, uh, it's always that same look. They have that same little baby, but they don't have no mind. And this really makes it bad for some of the brilliant blonde women who are, who are brilliant. But you look at them as dumb and blonde. Like you look at all black women, like we are fucked up, succubus, you know, smoking token bitches. And dumbass bitches who just want to jump on a... You know what? In 2023, all you motherfuckers better stay away from me. That's all I got to say. I'm Area 52 for a reason. If you're not here, trust me. That's uh, your courtesy. That is wild. Just give her a, a mic and watch her go wild. Put her on the stage. Oh, no, we did that. She brought down the house. We can't have this bitch coming out. Nah, especially when it's supposed to always be about us. I don't make no fuss. I'm not trying to outdo everyone. I just do what I do. I'm never in competition with any of you. I honestly just do, I'm just doing me. That's why I don't like slams. Y'all too hammy and too waxy. And then it's such a setup. Everybody knows what you're going to say. Everybody knows the next line. But I thought it was supposed to be, you know, like independent and biases and unbiased this time. It is never unbiased. It's always the same. Why should slams be different? That's the name of the game. Whether it's slams, whether it's politics, whether it's religion, whether it's the whole, it's the whole thing is entertainment. <laughs> the whole thing is entertainment. Politics is entertainment. Religion is entertainment. Media is entertainment. The government's entertainment. But the thing that's not entertaining is uh, the the soldiers who there are. We are and, and and soldiers' kids and all this and all the serious ones, the real ones, the real Avengers, and all the stuff they are doing and the stuff they have did that gets wiped out. Especially if you're in this house and you're black and you really know what you're talking about, they'll push the dumb ones up. Like I saw somebody like, oh, this person's wanting to do this and that, that, that for the kids. They already said it, been it, said it, been there, done that, but you never pushed me. Why didn't you? Remember that Martin Luther King thing Sunday or whatever, whatever that, no, whatever that, 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 that meeting you all have, like where you get the group together and you're supposed to do, do get up into groups and everybody, you know, and you, and you broke us all up into groups and you, and, and Everybody in the group just knew I was going to be the spokesperson to put it all together. But no, you took me off of that, made the white woman who didn't want to speak on that, make her be the spokesperson. And you wanted me to just write it down. I struck a nerve. And that's what happened. And that's why I don't fuck with these people with their MLK shit. And that's why, Sarah, you wonder why I didn't come back. And you saw that. I know you saw what happened. Did you speak up for me? Just like my... Family, when I go into a when I go into a demon of hoes, let's keep it real, yo. They may look like they're religious pastors and preachers, but bro, I got the tea on that. But I don't even care. But it's your it's your jealousy and it's your spitefulness right now that you should be aware of because God's on your head. You said you believe in God, but evidently your God is dead because a new God is on the scene. What if I told you my daddy is is, is God and he means what he means and he said what he said? <laughs> anyway, what I'm trying to say is even my own family turned their heads when they came at me. Some of the founders didn't though. Wasn't even family, but they weren't. They knew what it was. Thank you for being honest. Thank you. But sometimes you really just need to see what it is. You do. Because when you see it, then you know it to be true. Damn. Cain and Abel. I got it. Do you? Ho, ho, ho. Ooh, no. He brought out the ring. Had to go. See how we're at? <laughs> don't say ring. Don't say babies. I ain't coming back. That's it. Uh, Now I'm ready to go eat. Am I going to be doing this all in 2023? 
We shall see. I don't know. I'm still growing. And I'm evolving my own self. Who's helping me? What man in actuality is standing up for me? I see a lot of people standing up for the fake and I see a lot of people falling right now behind the fake industry. That is the most wonderful present that could ever happen to me. No, I'm not laughing at your misery. I am rejoicing in my victory that I feel for you and it's a tragedy indeed but I already bled for that and gave you what you said you know I don't know I don't care what you need I'm just saying I feel sorry for you but I'm rejoicing that I am over it literally You may be seventh dimension and eight going up now. Either way, it's a different day. It's a brand new day. All you had to do was be nice and play halfway fairly. You know what you did. God does too. But I'm not mad at you. But I got news for you. If you mad at me, I'd watch that energy. Anyway, do what you're going to do. It's going to play out as it's supposed to. And at the end of the day, I will just say, I actually, I would have never thought in a billion years I would have said this. Never. But because I know enough of knowing what it is, what none of them do. And I actually do feel sorry for a lot of you. But it's not like you weren't warned a billion times. Yeah. Anyway, dark place, sunken place, not my place. Today and the rest of 22 and 2023, I shine. Don't need nobody. Don't need no parties. Don't need no more party. I am good with mine. I'm okay. If you want to give me something for the holidays, cash at me, dollar sign, Val Jones. Duh -o. It's real simple. You know, you do it for everybody else. So it's dollar sign V A L J O N E S D A O. That's it. No dashes, no periods, no numbers, yo. These scammers have scammed everybody, and everybody who thought that they were going to climb to the top and be insta famous or whatever it was. I told you, these motherfuckers ain't got no love. What did you think you were bringing to the table? Really? What's your skill? A pose? Keep it real. There are a billion, trillion, quadrillion people posing. Like I've told people in the industry, we all stars, we all stars, we all stars. Okay, you want to play, you, you, you want to, you want to bring that energy. Okay, well, I'm going to bring this energy and give you a little reality. Here's why you don't get the check, okay? Because if you got a billion stars, and we all stars, we all star sees, then what is it in you that makes you grow? What makes you shine brighter than every other star in the sky or every other seed in the field? Let's keep it real. If I am looking at a thousand stars and that's my view every day and it's not you you say we i see the same thing to bitch you do not see that you do not remotely see or i'm sorry mother i didn't have to say the word bitch but they say it so much it's just it's something when you're a military brat sorry not sorry there's two words there's two words that i am looking for the proper replacement there's no proper replacement though there's nothing with those words nothing but I would maybe I mean, maybe I'll may, maybe I'll create a word. I'm like that. I'm 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 a genius like that. I'll, I'll create a word. But I'm so even programmed to the word. It's just like I just know what that word is. And I know what it feels, and just just keep it real. There's no especially if you're in the military and you're a military brat. I don't care if you're a chaplain. You are, if you have really been a soldier of war, you gotta admit the word bitch and fuck has come up numerous times. You can be as holy as you want to be, and every religion 
in every religion, no, in every uh, language, there is a term for that that says bitch and fuck. Or e even, 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 even people overseas, though, they say it, they say that word. They know how to say it in their language, but it still says bitch and fuck. But what's your perspective on it? That's where you fucked up. But I'm just trying to say, I, uh, I'm having a wonderful day and I'm so joyful and it's dark, but you know, all you see is dark. I bring the light, but, you know, I'm too dark, right? So, okay, then welcome to, uh, it's getting ready to be some dark nights, but it's going to be a light, too. Remember, the sun is uh, going to go down, and then she's going to rise as a Venus moon or something like that. I don't know. Still working out the story. But anyway. I'm being creative today, so that's all I had to say. It's like I'm giving my trial sermon or some shit like, like that all day. The initiation of what? The grooming of a... Hmm. Somebody said, do you really, 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 really want to know how deep the rabbit hole goes? I don't think so. <laughs> You want to know why? Because, okay, it gets back to this. And I've said it from the very beginning, and you can't lie. You got all these motherfuckers who want, what well, is true? Fuck it. It is what it is. You got all these non-talented motherfuckers. Some people are very talented, but you just don't have the it factor. You, I don't give a damn how, how talented you are. You never ain't going to be it. You never ain't going to be it. You ain't never going to be it. I don't care about your talent. I don't deny your talent, but you don't have nothing else. You don't have the discipline. You don't have the stick to of -ness. You don't have you don't have a lot of shit. You ain't it. Talent's not enough. And you may have all the money in the world, but you know, still, you can't buy this shit and buy this shit and think it won't come back to you. Your money will go, your money will go broke. You'll go broke. And your bitch will leave you too. And look what happens. You left with just your shit soup. That's all you gotta sip. No coffee, no tea, no champagne. No Dom Perignon, none of that shit. Because you chose a trick. And you did not want to do the work. Or you went with them and you wanted to make us who do the work. You would do that gang stalking stuff. Like some cultures and cults and covens do. Didn't you ever think that I'm the queen of covens, boo? They all came after me, not before me. Thought you knew. You're so smart. You're so bright. You studied magic, right? Allison Crawley and all that shit. Where do you think they got that shit from? Remember, I don't study for necessarily for a reason. Think if I did. <laughs> think if I really studied those books and I had, you know, I'd be like, I'm like I'm already area 52. I'm just saying, you guys got to study it and you still get it wrong. And I'm still standing in front of you like for all that you did and still do, apparently. I'm standing in front of you on a beautiful day representing my mother and my father and my God, okay? Not yours, not your celebrity, not your favorite tea, not your favorite whoever you think it will be, not your president, not your philosophy, not your governor, not your lover, not your singer, not your rapper. I don't give a damn about these motherfuckers. Been there, done that 50,000 times. I help people shine. And I'm repaid by never getting mine. Too many stories coming up in the industry like that. And it always seems to go back to the same old cats who want to come up and tell you what to do with your life while they taking your money, all right? And you had to know if you really believed in a God. I'm talking to all y'all. Divine Nine, Eastern Stars, Masons, and in between. No matter who you are, even the Illuminati, you had to know there was something above you. And if there is, and finally, when that day will come through, that you would have to meet your justice to, how did you think that was going to happen? And who did you think it would be? Who is he? Maybe it's a she. And not a transgender one either. An actual one.
because it's in the actual DNA and legacy. But I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just talking registry. I'm nobody. I'm just somebody in a wooden manger in the wintertime. Just enough water and food. And still I shine. Wow, isn't this a Christmas story? So whose story is it? Mine. Marinate on that. And let me know if your favorite people <laughs> can freestyle, you know, a flow like that. And if they can and they keep your attention, good luck with that. And if they make you happy, you go ahead and support that. But if I did anything, then how about you give back? Don't, don't care. Don't. I don't want to hear about this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that. I still have a book out. It's only 22 books. I give discounts. Like, you know, hey, hit me up with hashtag I want better. And I still don't get hit back. And people say that they want to support me. But when you support the other cat, like you think I don't see. I see everything. Wouldn't I? If I were the oracle, but they got you looking at them. And I keep saying this is so fucking rhetorical that I keep talking to fake family and friends, whoever it be. And that's how I feel about the whole goddamn industry. I help you and you fuck over me. But you tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Even down to the V. And you know the V, which I'm really talking about. I had too many people drop dead and died for no reason. I know what I've been through myself. When they gave me the whole thing at the beginning of the season of this movie. See, son, I was an experimental project. And it was a 50-50 chance. Will she live? Will she die? If she dies, we get a good one out the way. If she lives, ooh, she's proven to us, okay? She's not like the rest of them. But I never, ever was. Not trying to be egotistical, but I was really, in more ways, the one showing you love. And it was a privilege to be in my presence. You didn't get it till it was too late. Now, I, I, I give us no fucks, and I can't fake. I caught the side and shame and the hate. Oh, it's still a hate. When you don't allow me to speak and tell my story and you allow somebody else and you believe what somebody else tells you. Oh, uh, 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 oh the devil just grew a conscious. The devil just grew a conscious. Because I think he felt that. Are you actually feeling it? The wrong that you did to me? Are my family and friends feeling you? I'm not. I'm not depending on that because some will never see. I'm not. I'm not buying that lie. <laughs> I'm just saying, the fact that you say you believe in the shit you believe in and you do the stuff that you do seems to make a mockery out of me and you. And the one thing about it, at the end of the day, 100% all the way, I was true. Find one time when I wasn't. I stand by everything I said, meant what I meant, and said what I said, down to the very last breath. And if I say there's something in that shit that ain't right, that brings you death, well, then maybe I would know. Because I'm not a clout-chasing, trendy-ass hoe. I'm a nurse's kid. I don't need the dough to push death on my family. Been here too many times. Real activists aren't blind. Trendy activists, you know, the same thing every time. And let's be real. Most of the folks, and I'm going to be honest, most of the folks, as far as the civil rights movements, were fronts. I said it. Meant it. You know who told me? Somebody that wasn't junk. Reverend Jose Williams. That was a real one. That was MLK's right-hand man. That was the one who had the greatest influence on me and Baker when we were in the ATL. And you all looked at him as a drunk and all this and all that, yet he was the one who started feeding the homeless for Thanksgiving. The others didn't do it. 
I can name their names, but why? Why make them, why make, you know, you, you should know who they are, who they're not. But, you know, you don't care because they're the trend. They're the thing. Y'all want to be a part of the thing. People always want to be a part of the thing. Black people, we always so busy wanting to be a part of the thing, but it's the wrong thing. And you don't, you know what? The last poet said it. The last poet said it. The last poet said it. Niggas are afraid of revolution, but white people are afraid of revolution too. Because you know when that truth comes true, it's coming through for you too. Everybody that's lying going to die by the lie. And you know what? I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for it. I want to see it. Yeah, all of them. I have no friends on this journey with this. Except what my parents give me. And right now my parents are telling me everybody's cut off. Except uh, you know who. Who's already fed you. So that's the clue. The actions. I hear the talk, but if I don't see the walk and that ching ching, then you're singing the same song. And that song, I don't sing. I saw Reverend Jose Williams be ridiculed and, and, and disrespected for doing the same thing I do, caring too goddamn much and being true with activism when everybody else started being about the money and took the bad apple. And some of y'all want to be famous so bad. I get it. You want to feel important. I get it. We all want to feel important. I get it. We all want to be heard. I get it. But the fact that you would disrespect the people who really opened the doors for you. Some of you really have the audacity to think that you know and you don't. You don't have that experience. You think you do, but you don't. There's so much more that you don't ever know until you know. And that's always the problem I have telling people, yo, I've been here before. I know my past last lifetimes, and I'm still learning more. Okay, fine. I'm just crazy old gal. I don't know shit. But then at the end of the day, you still the one sick. So I'm not flies. Now the world's going crazy. FTX goes, F I I NFTs down. How much money did y'all lose? How many of y'all got put out? Shit out on the ground. You know, Atlanta put your shit out real quick. <laughs> Let me tell you. Atlanta. And now North Carolina's getting like that too. I'm like, what, you don't pay your rent and shit like that? That ain't no joke, man. Atlanta taught me a lot. But here's the thing about Atlanta. Atlanta, as hot as you are, you ain't all that hot. You got caught up in your own. Uh, with a, a lot of energy, and don't get me don't get me wrong. I love the energy that I got from that's my birth state, but my birth state just like family trees. Family got some weird shit going on, and you with the best of the people as far your as the activism, and you really didn't support. You can say that shit, but I was there. You really didn't support like you say you did, and I saw too many people die. I've died a billion times behind the lights of you. It's always the same story. It's always the same. Wow. Portia. That was your grandfather. You could have done something better, but that's what the entertainment industry and the whatever this is, the uh the celebrity politics is celebrity. All this is like, you know, it's it's something else. It's it's something else. It's something. It's something. It's something. And uh, you know what? I'm uh point for me is do I see it? Because again, here I am being that type of teacher again, like, whoop, I saw too many people die. No, I didn't come to certain funerals. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not coming to certain funerals, it's getting ready to happen to a lot of people getting ready to uh <sighs> But I'm okay, you know, and I mean, I can't feel some kind of way today because remember, I've already had a mom and dad ascend, even though I talk to them every day. Isn't it wild? How did she do this? Is she crazy? No, I'm really being me. Energy never dies. Remember, I don't have a relationship with my God. I have a relationship with creator, with source. I don't limit myself through the lies and the filters of others. I don't have a relationship. I have a relationship we be different. You can see that in our walk. We ain't just about the talk. 
even when we don't have the profits to show, even when we don't have all the flashiness and all the gold, even when we don't have all the things and the material shit that people hold up high, we got integrity, all right? We got creativity. And we got a light that nobody can steal how much they want to. I have been free, I have been freestyling this whole story for like I don't even know how long. And I have been doing this nonstop for like at least really kind of like I've been really maybe 2016, 2017. It's just that this year or this last couple of months after I got everybody out of the way, out, out of the way. Well, now I'm acting like I can't talk today. After I got all the energies that weren't supposed to be around me. After I got all the shades and the blocks away from around me, after I like was able to breathe from all the mud that was putting around me, all the fake love and all the stuff. I mean, how I, I probably was being, po I mean, you know, poison and everything. I'm like, good God, it was that moment in the desert and all that and all that. It was like, you know. Now up here, I'm up here, Moses, and looking at the sea like, is the sea going to open? And the sea went, of course the sea is going to open, baby. The sea is you. Just do what you do. Snap. You're the sea. You know, you're looking like you're the mo You're not in bondage. You are the fucking sea. <laughs> They're trying to get to you. You don't want to mess with the sea like that. Uh, I'm just saying. My daddy said, no wonder my daddy and my mom, speaking of which, uh, my, my mind's going to 50,000 thoughts. I got to go. I got, I got stuff to write. I got stuff to do. Anyway, I'm in a creative point of view. If you want to actually give me a uh, Christmas present or holiday present, my cash app is still the same. My PayPal too. Be about it. Don't talk about it. <laughs> walk the walk. Don't talk the talk. I'm just being serious because now, right now, it's time to be serious and I'm not trying to create a fuss. I'm just saying I don't have time to keep giving up for people who don't give back to me. I've got books to write and I've got uh, my own therapy that I need to do. I have people who really appreciate me and that is Ugh. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. I tell you, you know the ghosts are in the house. You know the ghosts are in the house when all your charges go out at the same time. I have so much power shit going on. I mean, you know, as the people who are who are dealing with spiritual, well, don't know. I have so many power. Sir, I have a lot of I have a lot of shit going on around me. So if people want to, you know, keep saying, you know, hey, you need a roommate, you don't want a room with me. You do not. My ghosts do not like anybody around me. My ghosts will not accept anybody in the house right now. It's true. Ask somebody. My one of my favorite favorite one of the very 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 few I can count on one hand and still uh and, and, and still eliminate too how many people have actually been in the house and even when one of my dearest friends came in I mean we're like that the door I had the door open when he was coming up and as he was coming up the steps the door closed boom now that was just my house being protective but you know he's got his own stuff going on too so my my house is not going to let you got demons and bullshit around you my house is not about that so no nobody can't stay with me so if you know you can put out or anything like that i had it for you but you know since you all about that and you have fifty thousand people in your life and you got the right team right then i'm sure you'll be all right i just can't do shit for you because right now i am in a cocoon stage and my parents say it's time to feed our child because they have sucked her dry almost. But I'm water. I'm never going to be dry. But, uh, and that's the problem. I'm never dry. <laughs> These bitches be dry. But <laughs> they're so dry. They dry in their mind. They dry in their grind. They dry in their creativity. They dry in their originality. They are dry in their thoughts. They're just fucking dry. I don't need to talk to you, sis. You're not you're not inspiring me to do nothing. You say some of the same shit I said and I said it worse. I'm supposed to pay for that. Let's get right down to the T. I'm trying to save actual babies and I'm trying to give the elders I'm trying to let them know that everybody didn't forget what it really, really, really is and what's going on. I'm not the trend, okay? I'm the truth. It's a difference. And I might not be the truth. According to you, then prove it. That's all I say. Prove it. Prove me wrong. The the fact of the matter when I realized that some people would rather have me die behind their lie than be happy that I'm living and proving my truth. That's when I knew how fucked up this shit was. Yeah. 
you would rather have me die to prove that you're right rather than believing that I could be right. You actually, in some kind of ways, oh, she gonna get sick, she gonna die, she, I'm still here. Didn't take the money, didn't take the plot. What about all those numbers y'all were, you know, dancing on? They done fell off? I apologize, mother, forgive me for this. But uh, what happened exactly to Twitch? Why is it some people, when they enter the room, and you can almost do a timeline of some of the people they've been with? I remember from back in the day, even around here, and I keep trying to tell Atlanta, because Atlanta people be thinking, you know, like, you know, people, you know, people be slow. I mean, you know, Atlanta's got ego. We all got ego show. Remember, I am the triple threat, though. I just say triple. So, ATL, don't get me twisted. You know, I, I wasn't a double threat to you. I was a triple threat. I'm military savvy, media savvy. I am Georgia born, 26, Fayetteville, Vietnam, all of that. And I'm on some other shit that I clearly saw you didn't know. I was a privilege to show up at some of your shows. Remember, I was the one. Not I don't talk about stuff I didn't do and don't know. I studied with the Hebrew Israelites. I studied with the nation of Islam. I was I was a week away from getting my ex. <laughs> I'm having a flashback. Right? I'm like, no. <laughs> when my, my husband and I, we looked at each other and went, whoops, we gotta go. Love you, Minister Farrakhan, but you went way off the grid. You did that shit to Dr. Khalid, to Khalid Muhammad, by the way, and I am his, I am his god kid. And forget about that. So you did to my daddy and my goddaddy. You know what? Mary Magdalena got a vengeance contract. And I'm trying not to strike back. Because mother says, let the men do that. Baby girl, we're going to create and be great. Let them handle that shit. Which sometimes I think is a little whack that I can't like. You know, I need, I need, some, of that, I need some of that whack a mole action. That was really good at whack a mole. Like, whack, 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 whack. it got my shit out. So that's why I get on the track and work it out. Because these men, these beta bitches, you know, gender not specific, because it goes on all sides, they don't be playing. And no matter how much you try to pray for them, they don't be saving none of that. They're just going to do what they do. And I'll say, okay, you know what, do you. I'm just giving you a reason to like, when you look at me and feel like you want to feel froggy today, bitch, don't try it. Unless you feel like being a t-shirt. And not in a good way. That's all I had to say. Military. Georgia born. And race of Vietnam. If I don't know how to deal with hell. Who does? You know, if you know, you know, but y'all don't know. That's why you get ready to see the Lilith show. Or maybe it's the Truman show because they gave me the infu they gave me the whole shebang. And next thing I know, I'm limitless Lucy. Ho ho ho. <laughs> what a present to me. Mommy and Daddy says you get the tea and the coffee and all the good stuff this year, my dear. You are so due. Ooh, I saw one of my exes earlier today. <sighs> How are you? Seriously. Seriously. You don't look. Well. Yeah, I know you are. And y'all might think I'm talking about somebody else, but I'm not. He knows I'm talking to. How's that working for you? The fact that you just feel like. I can't have a good day without you doing something totally retarded. I'm going to say it because I meant it that way. Because that's what it is. Don't come at me, people. Don't come at me with that bullshit. Y'all going to sit down today. My story matters, okay? Sit your monkey asses down. Because this shit, remember 1956. If I'm mastering my will, I am that master monkey chick. <laughs> So you need to sit y'all monkey asses down because this monkey ain't with it. This is what we call a flip. So anyway, all I'm trying to say is, you know, things are going to be different after today. Good things on the way for some, some not so much. It's lessons, lessons and blessings. But, uh, you know, you deserve it. We all do. Find the crew. 
that in all actuality works for and loves you by what they do, not what they say. Because that's it.